Welcome to the February 2020 energy reading, oracle reading. I pulled a couple of cards and it seems that the message is all about really going for your dreams, letting go of any anxiety around that and asking for help if it's needed. You can do this. Just being open to receive. Maybe the ask is really just an ask of the universe and being open to receive what wants to come through because it wants to come through. So stick around and we'll get into that in a moment. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and awakening coach. And uh, this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about everything to do with working with energy and loving your life. You know, like really allowing yourself to be who you are and to tap into that magic that you have in co-creating with this universe. So that's really what these cards are talking about um, this month because we're getting this go for your dreams. This card, go for your dreams. And uh, you know what? That's a message for all the time. But this is the beginning of a whole new year, of a whole new 10-year um, cycle. So why not dive in right now? Really go for it. You know, let's, let's release all those things that are blocking us from moving forward. Let go of the anxiety. There's an anxiety card that came up in the reading. Um, get energy healing if something's blocking you from getting moving forward with the things you want to create where you're just doubting yourself or just not allowing yourself or not thinking you have any help out there that's another card um asking for help so well i'm just going to read this first card for you i don't want this to be a long reading i want to do this really nice and quick so let's get right to it so this card go for your dreams it says are you plagued by regret over dreams unexplored do you wonder what might have been that you had you, if you had taken a different road? Um, do you fear it's too late or that you're too old to pursue your heart's desires at this time? Well, listen, it's never too late because we are creators. We can always create. Um, the spirit within is activating you. The only thing that makes you think you can is other people's judgment or society group thinking. Because really, we, we, if we allow ourselves to and believe in ourselves and trust in ourselves, we can create anything new at any time. It doesn't matter how old you are or that it's too late for some reason because you have something telling you that, that it's too late. So anyway, um, the spirit within is activating your awareness and inviting you to reclaim your lost dreams. Yes, some things are gone forever and this must be accepted, mourned, and forgotten but others only appear that way and are really just waiting for you to breathe life into them once again right dust them off bring them back put, flow some energy towards them ask the universe how can i make this happen what do i need to do to get started on actualizing this dream of mine um, so it says your divine energy is calling you to to separate what's dead from what's merely dormant. Bury the dead and accept. Then give your inactive or ignored love in your heart all you have in order to revive it, whether in your heart, your relationships, or even in your health. I know for me, that's coming in a big way to start doing more and more creative things. I used to just create, create, create all kinds of artistic things, creations that are nice to look at and enjoy and feel the energy of them. I stopped doing that. So I'm starting it up again, right? This card might be speaking just to me, but I think it's for everybody. I mean, and really it is for everybody. Because there's always those, there are always some things that you wanted to do that you've decided that, that you can't do it, that it's too late. Just like what this card's talking about. It can always be revived unless, of course, it's not your desire that this be revived. If it's coming from a voice outside of yours, well, maybe that's when you have to look in and say, no, I'm sorry, that, that's really, that's gone for me. You know, that's, that's in the past. I'm burying that one. I'm moving on to something new. Because sometimes it's other people who hold this energy or expectation or some sort of judgment, how you may have had this brilliant idea and you never acted on it and you really should do it. <laughs> that's just outside voices. So you always want to feel within yourself. You know, does it feel lighter when you say, yeah. I 
do want to create this. And at the time is now. I think, I think, I think I can do this. Or just ask, is it time for me to do this? Let the universe send you a signal. Um, there's one more part to this card. It says, find the courage to go for your dreams and forget excuses or fears. Give your full attention to what wants to live in you today that you have neglected or not supported. Let your innermost, your in, let your inner lover, your artist, that innermost part of you that knows, let that adventure out. Let that adventure begin to thrive like this energy of creation that's lying dormant. Let's let it out now. Um, okay, I started doing my own words. What was it saying? Let your inner... Your inner lover, artist, or adventurer thrive and quit using your intellect and ego to kill these creative parts of you. Yes. That's that's like probably the best message of this, of this whole reading would be that line. I'm going to read it again. Uh, da, da. Quit using your intellect and ego to kill these creative parts of you. Yeah, just stop it. <laughs> this creative urge that is trying to emerge will bring new vitality into your life. Take the chance and believe in yourself. Then do everything you must to make your dreams come true. Don't hold back. Give your heart your full attention. Right? So give your heart your full attention because this it's coming up because it's a part of you that really wants to be expressed. Um, I think I'm going to go with this in this one next. Energy. I got the, the anxiety card, right? So I'm going to go right to reading it. Uh and it was upright worry or distress so the woman in this card is filled with anxiety worrying about something that causes her a great deal of discomfort receiving this card upright may indicate that you're experiencing a time of increasing stress perhaps even a situation that you find yourself brooding about much of the time however if you'll notice the scene outside the window the storm is distant and perhaps even moving away whatever's going on this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax. Brooding and fretting will never solve these things. So trust in yourself and your process. When you live with a relaxed heart and mind, you're far more likely to receive the solutions that you seek. So I would say even, um, yeah, just really lightening up and, and actually feeding light to those dreams or those desires or those projects or those creative aspects of you that you're not expressing and not letting out. And that could be in any area because we are creatives. We create every single aspect of our lives in every single area of our lives. So there's nothing that is not a creation. <laughs> it doesn't have to be some artistic endeavor. It's whatever it is for you. So this is kind of saying that, um, you know, so maybe stop beating yourself up for not following through on something, right? Or stop beating yourself up for allowing yourself to go with the outside voices that are dictating to you how to live your life or what it is you need to do, right? This is about, it's always about stepping into your power and your creativity to create and manifest the things that you want in your life, to actualize those dreams and desires, to really you know, bring them into your reality. So the, the last card here we're going to go with is the horse. It says accepting help from others delegate or, or delegating authority, the horse. So let's see what that one says. It says the horse appears on your path to offer assistance. If you're asking a question about your life, the horse says that you will indeed receive help from others to aid you in your quest. And for some of us, it's very hard to receive help. You know, we've got these programs running that tell us that we have to do it all ourselves or we're a failure in some way, right? Allow this help to come in. I mean, maybe it's just the help of the universe because it's a co-creation, right? Just letting that that guidance, your, your spirit guides, your angels help you. Like really opening up to receive that help. Asking questions, you know, it's the access consciousness principle. Just keep asking questions without trying to figure out the answers because that's where we get stuck. So let's see what else it says. It says, too often do you refuse help from others. Do you sometimes feel that although you give to others, no one helps you? You know, there's a lot of imbalance for a lot of people, always giving, 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 but they're not allowing the help to come in. So when you have that block up there, it's hard for people just to offer the help to you. You want to soften that and allow this 
allow your heart to expand and to open to receiving that same love that you send out to everybody else, receiving help. Um, so it says you don't have to walk the whole way alone. You can get help. The horse appears to remind you that assist, uh, that assistance is for the asking. So it's available to you now. It's available to you now. That's what this card is letting you know. Sometimes you need to be carried to get to your destination. Trust that when the horse appears, help is yours. Remember to ask for it and also remember to accept it when it's offered. So, yeah, I know I used to never accept help from others. I had to do everything myself. I was running these programs of having to be strong, having to be um, self-sufficient or whatever that might be. It was okay for me to help everybody in the world, but I wouldn't let anybody help me. Well, I'm, I'm glad that I got... I let that go. And um, so that's why I hope that these videos that I do help you in some way to open up to allowing the possibilities. Because that's it. Life is all about possibilities. How much are you willing to open to the unlimited possibilities that come to you? So ask questions. Even if it's like, uh, okay, so you had this dream, you're like, you don't know how to even get started. So just ask questions like to the universe, to your guides, whatever. How can I get this going? What can I do that will get me moving towards actually creating this in my life? What if it were easy for me to create this in my life? How can I let go of all these restrictions I put on myself that dictate I can't? I'll tell you one way. Get some energy healing. <laughs> get your bars wrong. Um, so that's it. We're going to work with, um, yeah, it's a great time to just, it's always, I, you know, it's funny because this reading to me, these cards were picked for right now for February because that's what I was asking for. But really, this is a reading to take with you in your every day, every month, every year. Allow yourself to be the creator that you are, to accept help from others because there's some areas where, wow, what this dream could just expand and expand and expand and expand and expand to even more when we allow others to contribute to it, right? To, to um, help us in the areas where we don't have to do it all alone, where we can have it grow and expand through joining in with energy of others. Yeah, I mean, because really we are all, we're all one. We're all connected. Let's start breaking down those walls that prevent us from being in that flow of having out of nowhere someone come through that has a part of you. Your dream has already figured out some kind of solution towards it, and you're like, wow. Where did that come from? That's exactly what I need so I can move forward on this. Yeah. Let's be that open. Let's be that open to allow those things that we really desire to create in our life to, to flow with ease. Ease, joy, and glory. Another access consciousness um, mantra. All of life comes through with ease, joy, and glory. That's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's do it with ease, joy, and glory. Let's stop all this... Like the anxiety card is telling you, you don't have to be there. You don't have to live with that anxiety. You can lift, open, let that go. Let that light come out. Feel your way through with this joyfulness within your heart. You know, going back to that little kid who came here knowing they can create anything. I mean, watch, you know, maybe if you feel so disconnected from that, go, go to a playground, right? Just watch some kids. Watch your nieces and nephews, relatives, your own kids, as they create, watch that two and three year old and look at the magic in their eyes as they're creating these things. And, you know, like we're so busy sometimes we just don't we just overlook how much they create because they're living it in that moment. They are whatever that is they're pretending to be. They're not pretending. They are it. We look at it and we're like, they're pretending. No, they're being. It's all about being right. So anyway, that's it. I, I feel like I can go on and on and on about this topic, but I think these cards say it all. And uh, I wish for you lots of joy in creating these new things and, and allowing yourself to open up or to revitalize um, areas that you kind of let go of. I'm doing that for myself. I'm revitalizing that artist within me who hasn't been able to actually... Um, create in, a, in an aesthetic way where you where I can see these what are, whether they're paintings or whatever things I'm putting together and making something beautiful out of nothing right uh, be that 
That's what I'm letting myself be. Be the creative person that you are and start really um, expressing yourself in that way. And don't even really care about the outcome so much. It's just the, the journey. I have that on my foot, tattooed on my foot. Enjoy the journey. Just enjoy the journey of being in that creative energy. Choosing the colors, the textures, the items, the mechanics that you need to, to bring this thing together and have it be existing in this world, on this planet, at this time. <laughs> All right. Uh, I feel like I can't stop talking. So I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it was inspiring for you in some way. I'd love for you to comment below. Of course, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you on another video. Bye.